All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to tell you guys how to be motivated and stay motivated when you're older in your mid-30s. Trying to skateboard, balancing life. Today's video, how you stay motivated. But first, here's what we're doing today. Look at this spot I found. So we got some curved little ledges right here that go for a while. So I'm gonna have to come and wax these up. The real spot is right there. I think I should get some on it. What do you guys think? Not today, but you have to roll right here. So you have to either roll right here and cut in or like literally have like maybe one push right there. And this crack is pretty big. Look at that thing. Yep. I got some for you though. So I'm on my way to the spot, but uh, to get start the video, but I found a quick little spot, so we're gonna check it out. Found this little five stair. Pretty neat. I'm gonna do a quick ollie. I got my filmer. I'm not gonna put her on, but my daughter, she's ten. She's gonna be my filmer. Those are her shoes. That's the stairs, and that's him. Three, two, one, go! See what you got. So today, uh, the goal is to do every flat bar trick that I possibly can. Every, you know, lip slide, nolly fakey, 50-50 variation, forward side variation, blend variation. Everything I can think of, I'm going to try to do. And just, they may be sketchy today. I'm not really caring. I just want to see how many I can get in today. So, last day, let's get started right now. First trick from board. I hate doing people's on circle rail because like I'm so used to being in the front seat of the people like on a square rail that like I'd be in the back seat on this trick and I'm not used to it. so I always either catch my kingpin or I fly forward or I lean too far forward either way but try landing right now Woo! I'm keeping it I keep overdoing it Okay, there we go. That was first try. <laughs> All right, the first way to stay motivated is to remember that it's good for your mental health. Now, having something to do that's challenging, that pushes you, that makes you think and focus is always great for your mind. It allows you to get in that flow state. So if it's something that you really enjoy doing, something that you know, you're know you passionate about and that you just love the challenge of it, for skating, it takes on a whole new barrier because you really have to put your mind and your body at one. And when you're focusing on a trick and you're battling a trick or something for an hour, think about what's going on. Like you're not thinking about 
what's going on in your life. You're literally just focused on the trick that you're doing. So that's one reason to stay motivated. Secondly is because it's a great like physical workout. You know, you work out your core, you work out all, so many parts of your body. When you fall over, you have to use your arms to get up over and over. You're constantly squatting, constantly using your core. So it's a great physical exercise on top of everything else. So, and it takes your full body. It's not like you're doing isolated exercise. You're using your full body to skate. Whether you're skating transition or rails or ledges or flat ground, you're jumping, you are, you're being explosive. So it's really good for the physical aspect for you as well. One thing you gotta take in consideration too is that, you know, what kind of field do you work in? Like, are you in construction? Cause you gotta remember if you get hurt, you know, you can't work and if you can't work, you can't provide for your family. Luckily I work at home. So if I get hurt, I can still work, you know, as long as I don't break both of my hands, I should be fine, you know? So Lord willing, that doesn't happen. But you gotta consider also too, you know, what kind of field are you in of work? Cause if you get hurt skating, if you, doing something that's a physical labor job and you hurt your ankle and you can't walk, then you can't provide for your family. So that's something to consider if you're gonna skateboard as well. Skate at your own limits, you know, push yourself if you need to, but enjoy the session. That's all you really gotta do, you know what I'm saying? We're you out here, you know what I'm saying? We out here. First try too, I'm back blunt. What the fuck was that? You're never gonna see me do a front lip though, I'll tell you that. That ain't happening. That trick is way too scary. A little too fast. I just don't feel like falling. All right, guys, I got like maybe a few more left. Um, I'm getting tired, so I can't go as hard. But I do want to do a front board 270, maybe a nose blunt, like a front nose blunt. I still want to save enough energy to do a kick flip, fakie flip, and a tray flip. And I got to do one tray, tray flip today for sure. So maybe I'll do a front lip. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to try it. I'm way too scared. I still didn't even do a front tail today. Um, front tails are scary, but front lips are like by far the scariest, but I'll do front board 270. I either do a nose blunt or a front tail, depending on how my energy is. And then we'll go from there. All right, my legs are way too tired to do anything else. Like I was trying to do 50-50 right now to front board. I'm having a hard time ollie. So I'm gonna do a kick flip, fakie flip really quick. I give a tri flip about 10 tries, see how I feel. But yeah, this is a lot of tricks for me personally. I don't think I've done as many tricks on this rail probably ever in one day. So good so far. No, nah, I'm too tired. Uh, I'm too tired. Uh -uh. Yeah, I am way too tired. Like, okay, my board's there. I'm too. I'm too tired to do that. That's not. That's not gonna happen today. 
my legs are done. It is what it is. I'm an old man. And lastly, it's just fun, you know, coming out here, getting a workout, pushing yourself, focusing on a task at hand that's not easy to do. You know, it's a great time, even though sometimes I hate it because it's depressing. Sometimes it's frustrating because you can't land a trick. Sometimes it's like, ah, oh, like I know how to do something, but I can't do it. But all in all, it's worth it. It's worth it. So that's how you stay motivated. And remember, just skate better, guys. Remember, just skate better.